You know that moment when you're not feeling well, so you decide to Google your symptoms and suddenly you have cancer. Well, something like that happened to me a couple of years ago. But the situation escalated a little. And with a little, I mean, we had an ambulance, firefighters and a bunch of technicians coming to our place. Let me tell you the story from the beginning. I was 16 that time and had just returned from Scotland, the land of whiskey and haggis. There, I had discovered the deliciousness of whiskey caramel sauce, which is essentially just regular caramel with whiskey mixed in. By the way, the legal drinking age in my country is 16 years. Since I had the apartment to myself that day, I decided to make my own. My parents' apartment still had one of those old gas ovens where you have to turn on the gas first and then use a spark of fire to ignite. Caramel takes quite some time to cook. I had to keep an eye on it because it could burn in an instant and I had to pace everything perfectly. While I was waiting for it to cool, I started to feel a little lightheaded. I googled my problem and found out that most of the symptoms I was having fitted the symptoms of gas poisoning. Common symptoms are headache, nausea, confusion, dizziness, difficulty breathing. My first action was to dial poison control and they just told me to call for an ambulance without hesitation. The man on the phone didn't even sound like he gave a fuck. It was more of a, just call an ambulance, okay, bye. Then him actually helping me and that made me even more anxious. I can't die right now. I still have to finish my caramel. I was a bit hesitant at first but ended up calling for an ambulance anyway. The woman on the phone told me to open up all the windows and wait for them to come and get me. I was like, so, um, is my situation bad? And she only said, just wait for the ambulance to arrive, okay, bye. I didn't ask any more questions and decided to not hinder the emergency call any longer. But her not answering me told me enough about the condition I was in. The paramedics arrived quickly but knocked on the wrong apartment door. I realized that because I remembered, I hadn't told them which apartment complex they had to go to. There were only two, but the one where I lived in was more hidden. You had to go through a yard and passage to find it. So I had to find them, awkwardly go up to them and tell them that I was the one that called. The medics were two guys around 18 to 20 years old. Here in Austria, when a boy turns 18, he has to decide if he wants to come into the armed forces or do community service. I think the obligated time is around a year. I went to the ambulance with them and forgot my e-card. The e-card is an insurance card for sickness, accidents, pension and unemployment insurance. In other words, if I have it with me, I don't have to pay or fill out any documents. What's your e-card number? Uh, I think I left everything in the apartment. Since my mom had just came home, I suggested to call her and ask for the e-card. Hello? It's the emergency medical service. We need your daughter's e-card. Is it possible for you to bring it down right now? We're parked in front of your house. Yes, of course. So we waited for what felt like an eternity, but probably was just about five minutes. I was lying in the ambulance, wondering if I was going to die and what to do with my hands. I sneakily took some pictures of myself, um, not selfies or anything, just a couple pictures of my legs on the stretcher. Where's her mother? If we wait any longer, she's gonna collapse. Okay, let's go. Wait, I'm gonna collapse. They dropped me off at the emergency children's station since I was only 16. There I had to sit with toddlers and kids half my age, still waiting for my mom. I was starting to feel sick. My face was heating up and getting all red and when I got up I could barely walk normally. And still no sign of my mom. Uh, wait, wait, face getting red, can walk straight, feeling sick and dizzy? This may not be gas poisoning, am, am I drunk? I have to get the hell out of here, I can't be examined or else they will find out. I got away from the hospital as fast as I could. I don't even know how I got drunk in the first place, maybe it was the evaporating alcohol from the caramel or the one sip I took from the whiskey? Those Asian jeans, man! When I got home, I found out why my mom had never showed up and left me to die in the ambulance earlier. There were tons of workers in our apartment. They were all inspecting our gas lines. My emergency call made them obligated to come and examine everything for leaks. Around two or three cars from different companies were standing in front of our house. They even called the freaking firefighters. They changed the routes, which were, as it turned out, way too old anyway. So maybe I prevented a future gas poisoning from happening.